Hey guys, welcome back. It's Max Puffs here. Uh, today I was planning on filming my first episode of Let's Play with the Budget, but instead I wanted to do a sort of showcase of how my uh, computer has been running uh, PC games. It's just been incredible, and I want to just give a little tour of the uh, of the old PC and show you what uh, what kind of advancements uh, the PC has over console. So today I'm going to be uh, playing Unturned. Also, by the way, I am a little bit sick today, so uh, just going to have to kind of deal with that. But uh, let's just get into it, play some Unturned. So this game is free, and uh, they actually made me install this dumb software called Battle Eye Anti-Cheat. I'm going to play without it, just so that we can have a, a pinnacle performance in our video today. So I already played this game uh, for 11 minutes earlier today. Uh, I just wanted to check it out, make sure that everything was up to snuff, uh, had good standards for this video. Uh, so we're just going to get into it right now. So as you can see, this is just pinnacle performance. The graphics are absolutely incredible, 60 frames per second. Uh, to start out, we're going to play the tutorial. As you can see, the mouse is uh, is coming along. So we're just going right into the tutorial right now. Would you look at that? We are running really the best game of 2018 on this computer just with ease. It has the finesse of Roblox, the graphics of The Last of Us, it's just incredible. Okay, so here we are at our first little station area. We have to go up to this table and click on these items. There's a little bit of lag, perhaps, but that's expected when running such a high-end game. Gotta be very careful when I'm highlighting these things. We have some dranks here. Oh, I'm in the corner. It's in our hand. Here we go. That's at least like an octagon, if not like a decagon, or maybe even a dodecagon right there. Ooh, we're drinking our food meter and no that wasn't a drink i think that might have been a that may, that might have been some beans or something like that oh and we finally have our first gun so let's see how this goes i believe there's a pit of zombies down here for me to kill or un unturned as the game might have indicated okay oh jeez okay these are some oh my god Oh my god, I fell down. Holy crap. Are they dead? No, 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 no. Oh. I'm out of ammo. Oh, well, I'm fucked. Some people like to call this game the Dark Souls of the Roblox PC generation. And it started us right back at the beginning. Okay. It said I can press H to do something. Oh, shoot. They have third-person mode. Okay, so, uh... Now that my gun is gone... Don't fall in... Oh, God, I fell in again. I can't... I can't see what's happening. I gotta climb up the ladder. Holy crap. Holy crap. Dude, am I gonna die again? Go up the... Okay, made it out of there with 27% health, no gun. Nowadays, everybody is talking about, like, Cuphead and all those kinds of things. All those games that are just high level of difficulty, real skill is needed. This game, especially with the little bit of lag that we're getting here, 
I'd say is the most difficult game I've ever played. Let me go back into first person mode. Oh! I died again. There was no sort of meter for me to know how how much I was suffocating. <sighs> That's cool. I said at home. I didn't want to respond again. There's a suicide button? Well, I do feel like doing that right now, so I might as well. Everyone is disappointed. Huh. Okay. I'm going to click the home button. Maybe it'll actually do what I asked it to this time. Nope. It just spawns me right back in. That's cool. Okay, so now we're back into this uh, play menu thingy. I do matchmaking, but computers just aren't there yet. I don't know if I'll be able to run internet at the same time that I'm running these high-end graphics. So I'm going to go into single player, see how that's going to work out. I'd like to go into Germany. I've never been to Germany. Is that Washington or Washington, D.C.? I'm going to go Washington. Uh, it says normal difficulty, I believe. We're going to have to set that to hard. No, it looks like it's Seattle, Washington, not Washington, D.C. That's disappointing. Nobody likes Seattle. Okay, uh, before I go on, I'm actually going to change the graphics a little bit. I'm going to just disable everything, see if that does anything for performance. Draw distance, that's at 100%. That's not going to work out. Alright, there. Uh, we set the graphics to as low as they can possibly go. And honestly, even with that, I still don't think I could tell the difference if we were to hold this game up to, say, Assassin's Creed or one of the Call of Duty games. I don't know how many tents one might find in Washington, Seattle. Also, it looks like there are some zombies here, and we don't have a gun. The game, honestly, is performing a little bit better now that we turned down the graphics. Oh, they found me. Oh, oh god. Usain Bolt couldn't catch me if he tried. Maybe they have some guns back here to kill these zombies. Nope. Guess I'll just go fuck myself. I don't know what I'm supposed to do if there aren't, like... Is this guy, like, in the ground? Oh. He's on all fours, I guess. So I guess I'll just run around here until something happens. I don't know how I'm supposed to kill these zombies if they don't give me any guns. It doesn't seem like it can get you if you're, like, running. Which is good for me, I guess. Dude, I need to take a look at whatever gaming engine that they're running this on. The terrain looks absolutely terrific. I guess I could just run this way forever, and they wouldn't catch me. Oh, but I do need food, that's the thing. Maybe I can swim out to that island, maybe they'll have a gun out there. Oh, god! Oh, they're actually doing damage to me now. Am oh, I'm bleeding out. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that, but... This, I have to admit, this looks nothing like Seattle, Washington. A little disappointing. Maybe we can find something that does. Maybe we can find a fucking med pack because I'm still bleeding out. Is it really going to kill me over one tiny zombie bite? I am done for. <sighs> and again, when you press the home button, it doesn't take you home. It takes you to the last respawn point. I don't want to play this map anymore because you advertise it as Seattle, Washington, but it's not Seattle, Washington. It's just a bunch of fucking trees. So is the entire point of this game mode just to run around and not starve to death? Oh, they got a plane. Maybe we can fly to the actual Seattle, Washington. Seattle is in Washington, right? I'll have to fact check that, because if it's not, 
I'm gonna get torn to shreds in the comments. That's just dandy. There's no way into this place, too. How am I gonna get to Seattle now? <gasps> oh! I think I found my way in. Look at them all. They're not doing any damage to me because I'm moving. They don't put any items in their maps! Like, how am I supposed to kill these zombies? I don't have any guns. Do I? I don't even have to be worried about these guys, because they're not going to do any damage to me. Oh, unless I get trapped by this barrel. Yep. Oh, but I guess it's just RNG if I get... If I start bleeding out or not. I'm going to go up to the top of this tower. It's a daring move, but maybe there'll be some sort of a gun. My only survival tactic. I guess fire. Oh. Maybe the maybe the respawn button will let me exit. Oh no, same thing. Well, I'm glad I downloaded that game. I give it a, a 9.6 out of 10. Took off that .4 points just because uh, there are a couple things here and there that I, I noticed weren't uh, top notch of game design. They couldn't hit me while I was running. But other than that, I'd say the game was just about perfect. Alright guys, well that's the end of this video. Remember to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. All that nice stuff. And I'll see you later.